Deep Within Andy Rice lies the secret of this week's Heroes and Zeros. And it is a slight secret, Jen. We're breaking away from orthodoxy a little bit this week, but all will be revealed. But that's what you do. Absolutely. So well. So, <laughs> come on, cough up. <laughs> so let's start with the hero. Are you a chocoholic? I used to be. Used to be? Yes. Okay, well, I find that chocolate advertising tends to be quite uh, derivative. It's kind of fairly predictable stuff with languid shots of chocolate pouring onto wafer bars and the whole appetite appeal thing seems to dominate. So it's quite encouraging when you come across a, a chocolate bar with a bit of a strategy behind it. And this is a bar that used to be called a marathon and is now called a Snickers. In this case, what um, Snickers have done is to say, well, what happens when you haven't got a Snickers? What happens when you're hungry? Mm. And out of that comes the clever campaign proposition that you're not you when you're hungry. And there have been a series of advertisements that show people behaving out of their no normal way because they're hungry, so give them a Snickers and get them back. And the one that's really stirring things up at the moment is an Australian manifestation of the same campaign. And it shows uh, some uh, Australian construction workers. But in this particular case, they're on their building site and they are pouring praise upon every passing woman <laughs> rather than, than uh, wolf whistling and doing but not all... come on, Sheila. No, none of that. Hey, darling, you have yourself a lovely day. Oi, that colour really works on you. Have a productive day. You want to hear a filthy word? Gender bias. Absolutely. Yes. I know, huh? Yes. I'd like to show you the respect you deserve. Yeah. Well said. A woman's place is wherever she chooses. I appreciate yeah. your appearance is just one aspect of who you are. You know what I'd like to see? A society in which the objectification of women makes way for gender-neutral interactions, free from assumptions and expectations. All right. You go, girl. Oh, yeah. What are we want? Equality. What don't we want? Misogyny. What do we want? Equality. What don't we want? Misogyny. I think it, it's really nice. It, it, it's, a, it's a campaign that's, that runs over the years. Uh, we've seen executions in many different countries and it, it certainly seems to have done a good job and it's causing quite a lot of stir uh, virally and uh, on Facebook as well. So what is your zero then? Well, it's quite interesting because my zero is Snickers. What? Yes. Now, there's a reason for that. You're such a careful elf. Oh, aren't I just, <laughs> yes. Um, and that is because um, campaigns um, often polarise. Uh, work that leaves everyone indifferent is pretty feeble, but work that forces people to take sides and half of them take one side and half of them take the other um, is generally a better starting point because you've got evangelists even if you've got rejectors as well. Now it's perhaps a little unfair to give Snickers a zero for this but it's a good example of demonstrating how you shouldn't try and compromise and take the middle ground. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are saying about this same Australian Snickers campaign that it simply means that only when they're hungry are men well behaved and the moment that they get, to get any kind of food inside them or Snickers uh, they revert to type and become ghastly, boorish misogynists. And it's criticised quite heavily for that. I think that's um, uh, a fair criticism, but I think it's coming from people who probably fall outside of Marathon's mm. target market. So yes, it's a, Snickers is both hero and zero, but you can probably tell that I really think it's a bit more of a hero than a zero. Yes, no, it does come across, because you'll say, I can see through you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it comes across really well. Go along to our Facebook page, and we welcome your comments, we welcome your suggestions, and most of all, we welcome your observations, because we really do pay attention to them. Great stuff. We'll see you same time, same place, next week. If not before. Good.